Hi, so I'm doing a technique called mocha diffusion and it, it's uh, originated around the 1780s in England and it involves taking an alkaline um, type slip and then adding an acid to it. Oh, I forgot my sponge. Um, and how we're gonna apply that is using, um, this is called tobacco tea and it's an acidic with a chrome oxide stain. And so you can see the dendritic, dendritic effects of the chemical reaction. It's quite um, interesting, so. Just trying different, this is Listerine that I just put on with the black. It's a different acid, type of acid. And you're only supposed to be able to do this for like 30 seconds because the slip has to um, be very shiny. Oops. And then this last little bit is soy sauce with red stain. So it's a low sodium soy sauce with a red mason stain in a concentration of 15 grams to 100 grams, so 15% stain to liquid. And I'm just doing random patterns on this pot. Now, I've, um, I'm doing this just to show you how each one looks. But obviously, when it's fired and then glazed, it will have a completely different vibe to it. I'm gonna go ahead, hopefully, and see if I can do some of this other without contaminating the other side that I've already done. Because you can't touch it after you have to let it dry and then it goes straight into the firing. I'm probably doing a <laughs> really lazy job at this or not so carefully. Cause this is, um, I've done this technique once and um, my results weren't awesome. I really wanna explore this soy sauce more. <laughs> I really like how the, I can see why my colleague um, who does this, who's kind of perfected this technique, prefers the tobacco blend. It's a very consistent um, tree, tree-like effect, very <coughs> veiny. I think I've warbled my pot there. And we'll just, for good measure, add a little bit of black. That looks better right there with the black. Yeah. That's really cool. It's like, keep, it keeps going. I'm gonna hold it there for a little longer. Okay. We will fire this up and see what it looks like. Stop the video? Yeah.